We are in Salt Lake City, the Wasatch Mountains of Utah. We are on our way to Box Elder Peak on the Timpanogos Highway. We are staying right next door to a zoo. It's nice having a rooster cockle doodle doo in the morning to wake you up. It is about a 10 mile hike with almost 5,000 elevation gain. This trailhead is close to Timpanogos Trailhead, um, up the road a little bit. So you're on the Timpanogos Highway going through this beautiful canyon. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Giant mountains railing up on both sides alongside. Lots of bikers. Be careful not to run too many bikers off into the ditch because they do think they own the whole Timpanogos Highway. <laughs> Box Elder Peak Trail is a moderate to lightly traffic trail and you're at the trailhead and there, is it? yep, there are no cars in the trailhead. So we are gonna be by ourselves today and we are enjoying it because we did fight for horn the other day and there was a lot of people. That banana right there actually I put on the hood right when we left and we just noticed it stayed the whole way here 42 minutes of driving. Um, we were at the Deer Creek trailhead. We got the front row parking. Dalton is an amazing parker. Um, nobody's here. I'm already liking this. It's gonna be nice and peaceful. Beautiful little creek. That is a heavy pack. Lots of water, lots of Gatorade, and goodies. Dalton got a bunch of candy in his bag, otherwise his, his blood sugar gets low. And when he stops talking, then I know he needs candy. So he's off in the bushes doing his duty right now before we start a 5,000 foot elevation gain to the top of Box Elder Peak. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. Ladies and gentlemen. trail gets after it right away. It is late August and the colors up here are just starting to turn. And I can't even imagine what it's going to be like in a couple weeks in these mountains. Very woodsy the first few miles and it's steep right off the bat. Steep the whole time and steep, very, very steep at the end. Finally came out of the woods and you get a great shot of this valley, this canyon. It's been a complete and utter slaughter fest up out of these trees. Relentless thigh burner, but you get to peek at Awesome Tipanogos across the valley there. We still got a good chuck of ways until we get up there. We're about two hours and 15 minutes in, about three miles. And it's a beast. Haven't seen anybody on the trail. And I see why, because it's straight up. There was one chick and she was like in super shape. She was like, she was like a WWF wrestler or something. came up over that giant ridge slugfest that killed us. Feels good to be flat. Came into this beautiful little meadow. Had an unbelievable view of Pfeifferhorn. 
Lone Peak over here, Lake Baldy. We were on the other side of that size. It was just amazing over there the other day. Whew, feels good to be flat for a while. We are gonna continue up this little, little tiny trail and we're gonna just relax for 10 minutes before we ascend on that giant monster back there. But we're feeling good. We have our second wind. We've downed some Gatorades, had our noons, nuns, however you say it. And we are ready for action. Right, Dalton? Yep. We got a, we're starting our 1500 foot ascent and views are getting better. They always do, but the legs are toast. Maybe I'll throw a shot up right now. The view from Pfeifferhorn of Box Elder Peak. Pretty sure I got one somewhere on that hike. But it looks sweet from Pfeifferhorn because there's a little bowl at the top of Box Elder Peak that just looks amazing. Straight down, carved out glacier bowl type thing that is very, very awesome to look at from the other side. We had to stop and enjoy that view there. Pfeifferhorn, Lone Peak, White Baldy again, Twin Peaks up over that ledge. Thigh burner, calf destroyer, and will demolisher. <laughs> you look around, catch your breath. <sighs> Suck in a cloud or two, right, D? Yep. And we come over here. Yeah. We're finally looking down. That is a beast. Doesn't look as intimidating from way down there, but this has been the biggest suffer fest I've ever done. Beautiful view of Salt Lake City. awesome seeing a mountain goat running around on top of a giant mountain he was just running across that ledge but man was that cool he just took off went about a hundred yards he was right in front of Dalton Dalton's right up there he was right in front of Dalton right in front of Dalton and he took off like a bat out of hell skimmed across that Awesome mountain ledge right there. And now he's on the other side. Just checking us out, make sure we're not ruining his day, which we are. <laughs> wow, that was pretty cool. I love it. Dalton gets to the top of these things or the lake before me, and then I can come and enjoy the view with my son. Mm. We are accompanied by a whole swarm load 
of bugs and moths and butterflies. Pretty cool. Dalton thinks that the views here are better than Pfeiffer horn, and I think I agree with him. Hey Dalton. Hey. Did you have fun? Yeah, kinda. S super hard, but well worth it? Yeah. So this is the top of Box Elder Peak, 11,000, just over 11,000 feet. I hope you made it to the end of this video. If you did, leave a comment below telling me you did. Hopefully you liked it. That is an amazing view, I can't get over it. If you enjoyed this stuff, please subscribe. Please hit the like button, leave comments. I like to hear from people. It's fun to chat with everybody. This, I just love making this stuff. I wanna keep doing it. And it gives me more incentive when, when all of you people respond and all that. So thank you, I appreciate it. And until the next video. Actually, I think the next video, well, I'm gonna do that next year for sure.